This video is made for educational purposes only and cannot be taken as legal advice. Always remember knowledge is power. When we have knowledge on self-defense, although something physical, we instantly have power over those with the intention to harm us. Please let me know in the comments if there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover and I will do my best to try and find judgments on them. Vaughan v. Mackenzie, 1969 1 QB 557. On the 22nd of May 1968 bailiffs attended Ms. Vaughan's house, but it was closed, the bailiffs waited, and later Ms. Vaughan returned with her child. Outside the front door, the bailiff told Ms. Vaughan they had come to Levi execution on her goods though. No warrant was shown she knew full well they were bailiffs and why they attended. Ms. Vaughan would not admit them to the house. When Ms. Vaughan and her child entered the house and attempted to shut the door behind them, one of the bailiffs got his foot in the doorway and pushed against the door, Ms. Vaughan pushing from the other side of the door to keep him out. Both bailiffs together forced the door open gaining entry to the house then Ms. Vaughan found a milk bottle handy, picked it up and struck the bailiff on the head, whereby he sustained a one-inch long cut requiring three stitches. The court opined. The bailiff was not justified in gaining entry to execute a warrant by pushing open a door which Ms. Vaughan against them and that they were accordingly trespassers and in any event, the bailiffs not having shown or read the warrant to Ms. Vaughan, were not acting in the execution of their duty. Sir Alexander Cockburn CJ said. The officer had no right to force his way into the respondent's house, which was the respondent's castle. Whether the officer was known or not this was illegal and therefore he was not in the execution of his duty at all when he was assaulted. He seems to have provoked the assault. I think as he was clearly not in the execution of his duty our judgment must he for the respondent. Win LJ. I agree. It seems to me that the essential criterion in any such situation is whether the householder has left a means of entrance available for me without the employment of any degree of force. As Lord Parker J has said, this is a case where a foot was interposed between the doorpost and the door itself. In the other two cases arms were thrust in, but it is perfectly clear that whilst in those cases some force was used, in neither of them was entrance being sought. Ryan Dry v Birmingham City Council, 1993. Before Mr J P Kieran, Deputy Stipendiary Magistrate, Birmingham Magistrates Court. The complainants were indebted to the City Council for unpaid community charge, poll tax, of £252.93, £302.84 and £315.50 for the years 1990 to 93 respectively. Liability orders were issued and a bailiff company was instructed. On July 21, 1993 two bailiffs called at the Rise home and the complainant Mrs. Rye and her 17-year-old daughter, Mrs. Barcy, were present. Mrs. Rye had been advised by her neighborhood office to refuse entry to the bailiffs and she did just that. She stood in the doorway and held the door slightly open but would not permit entry. The bailiffs asked to use her phone, she lied and said she did not have one. She was about to go out to speak to them when one bailiff put his foot in the door and then both pushed their way in, forcing her out of the way. The stipendiary magistrate found that the Levi was irregular and ordered the return of the goods removed. In fact the forced entry and seizure of third-party property was illegal and could have rendered the distraint trespass ab initio but no award of damages was made. Asterisk ab initio is a Latin term meaning from the beginning, 